The Reef Line is using the power of art to bring people together to solve the climate emergency we're living in right now. We can't wait for reefs to die to wonder where our fish are going to go. Coral reefs are like the cities of the ocean. They're thriving ecosystems that support biodiversity, and it's critical to make structure that mimics natural reefs to go beyond restoration and actually regenerate our ecosystems. The reef line is a series of underwater sculptures that are artificial reefs and perform as marine sanctuaries. I've always seen arts and culture as the allies of any interesting human movement. So the origin of the reef line is science, but we're using art to tell a more compelling story. Miami Beach in South Florida is totally man-made dredged land. We stopped a lot of the watersheds, we smothered a lot of the reefs. So I think it's really important to build back and to allow nature to have a structure that it can thrive on. The great thing about this project is we're collaborating with a lot of different scientists and experts in oceanography, coastal engineering, as well as ecology and biology to really contribute to a more scientifically sound site. It's really hard to get an artificial reef permitted. And so we've been working with the reef line to design project specific criteria, not only to meet these regulations, but to go above and beyond so that we are enhancing the aquatic environment and not impacting it. I grew up going to South Beach, South of Fifth. In my early 20s, they deployed a concrete tiki bar that's called the Jose Cuervo Reef. And over the years, I've seen them become marine habitats and propagate lots of corals naturally. So it's kind of a proof of concept and an inspiration for what the reef line can be. We have the tools in our hands to make the changes. It's just that we are not making them at the pace we need and people are not engaged. The ocean's out of sight, out of mind for many people, and we need to change that narrative and make it personal. And art has the ability to do that. Einstein said it, like before being a scientist, you have to be an artist. So using the tech of science with the creativity of art, I think it's a pretty unbeatable formula. I don't believe there is any greater purpose than serving nature. It's a blessing to actually be able to be working in a project like this with so many amazing people. This is a place so dear to my heart, and really it's the canary in the coal mine of climate change, and I would like to be part of the solution of how Miami Beach can stay here a bit longer, because I love it.